Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Nirish Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. The topic for today is called as custom checkpoint. Uh, in the previous tutorial, you have been already been through some of the checkpoints and understanding of creation on the output value as well. And today we were just understanding something beyond that. Now where generally when you talk about checkpoints, so we do have predefined checkpoints to verify a text, a property from an object or maybe an image or whatever it is. And output value allows you to extract the runtime data from the application and store it in the data table during the runtime. Now today we'll be understanding something beyond that where what if uh, there are certain calculations which are made by application during the runtime and you would like to make sure that the calculations are correct or not and then how do we do that with it because the checkpoints are limited to some standard and strict value but does not deal with anything which you want to create so we'll be just looking at a similar example like that and we'll be understanding how the custom checkpoint can help you to deal with such things so let's get started with the same and understand in more detail with an hands-on learning on this this concept so here i've got a new test all we need to do is uh, take up a scenario, have a clear set of requirements that what is that you want to do, and based on that, we can create our own checkpoint. So for that, I would need an application. So let me just take you to the scenario what we are talking about. So I'm just quickly filling in and say, okay. Uh, say the number of ticket is three. Click on find flights, select a flight. The cost of the flight is 149.80 cents, select. And now you see this, this is what I was concerned about. So what if you want to check the value 449.40? Now that can be very well done with a text checkpoint or a standard checkpoint. But what is my concern here is, is this calculation correct? That is the number of tickets three and the cost of the ticket or the price of the ticket is 149.80 cents. Now if it multiplies together, does it really come to 449.40? Now you would be saying that of course I can use a calculator and do that but for how many iteration team? Now if you're using an automation testing tool, the tool must be capable of doing the same thing on its own. And that's what we are talking about with help of custom checkpoint. So let's get started with the same. All we need to do is record a simple event till there what you need. So here I'm launching the application doing a simple login step. Uh, to reach to the entire steps should be followed to reach there and I'm using some values like Frankfurt uh, to Portland just number of tickets as two click on find flight uh, select a flight here click on select flight and now before you do anything maybe you can export these values so what we need to do is important here so go for a standard output value because that's more recommended at this point of time. Click on the number of tickets, which is a static object. Say OK and extract that particular property which carries the value. And if you see here, name is the uh, property which is carrying the value. Click on modify and say the ticket. So you can define your user friendly names, which would be more better to recognize them once the session gets over. So another one I need to extract is the price so click on price say ok and uh, you use the name again which contains the value and say uh, just rename it to price and say ok and ok again now one more is what we need is total so standard output value and pick up the total here and say ok uh, you come down and select the property which contains the value that's name again modify and say total of the cost of course say okay all right okay let's complete the transaction it's alex all the time flying i don't know where exactly you want to go but he always fly and just close the application so that it can be iterated and stop recording now we have got the entire script here which uses about launching the application to till there now all i will be quickly doing is parameterizing this so that it can be run for several iterations so before I can go to the custom checkpoint so let me just quickly use it as data table um, open the braces and fly underscore from we'll be creating this parameter so don't worry about that if you have any questions you can visit the data driven testing uh, tutorial 
Okay, now let me just quickly copy this. So I'm just replacing so the price can be uh, different for every different iteration. And here the number of tickets is also going to be customized. And I'll be putting it as uh, passengers. Okay, so let me just create, uh, uh, this is going to be my total where I want to put my uh, calculation for the custom checkpoint. Say okay. So these are the three fields which will be extracted from the runtime. That is ticket, price, total. And this will be my total, which will be compared with the their total. So after that, I need some parameters for the parameterization, what I've done. So I'm just creating those uh, parameters, fly from. So you can have all the parameters in the same sheet. You really don't have to worry about creating different sheet or something. I'll just have to do is um, create them here so that you can pass the value. Passenger and say OK. Now, number of tickets, it will be extracted. Here is what we are concerned about. So let us just uh, go ahead with the uh, fly from as, say, for example, Denver to Frankfurt. Oh, it is case sensitive. Frankfurt. And number of passengers will be three. Next, Paris to Portland. And number of passengers are two. And one more, let's try with one more. That is uh, Sydney to Zurich. And number of passengers are five. So they just we get different prices and different calculations done. Now what you have to do is for the custom checkpoint is you just have to put is equal to round off. That's some Excel formula, which is to compare two values. Round off, you just multiply this. That is this value, comma, Oh, sorry, not comma, it's multiplication. So you use an asterisk, A1 and B1. So product of these things, of course, comma, up to two decimals. That's the syntax for it. So you multiply the two cells, comma two, that is up to two decimals, is equal to the round off. The round off is used because if it is up to some decimal values and it will be rounded off up to two decimal values, uh, round off the total C1, comma two. So whatever the application is getting, I'm just reflecting it here in terms of true or false. So I'm just copying this uh, formula, pasting it everywhere so that it takes the references for all three iterations. Now we are all set to execute. If in case uh, you didn't understand, this is just about comparing the calculations from the application and the manual calculation. That's all. So having this loaded, let's run this and have a look what we get as the calculation answers. So that's my first iteration. Okay, I'm not sure what's wrong here. This is the data table, something wrong with the data table value. Um, is that not correct? Uh, let's come to the expansion and say run error number of tickets. Cannot identify the number of tickets. Okay, it could not reach till there. Frankfurt, Denver. Okay, let's go change this. Uh, maybe there's some problem with this. London to Denver. Uh, let's have it as uh, Portland. Okay, let's 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 try one more time, and it should be working this time now. Are we correct with the parameters? Fly underscore from fly underscore to and passenger. Passenger. Okay, data table. Okay, yeah, I think it's fine. Number of tickets. Let's go. Why is that? Okay. 
So let me let me just check. So it we say number of tickets, um, number of tickets, one WPF combo box. Select from data table passenger data DT global sheet DT global sheet, and this is passenger. Uh, everything seems to be very fine, and uh, I'm not sure when number of tickets are not getting picked up. Uh oh. -uh. Oh, we did a small mistake here. Yeah, how did that happen? It should have come before this, because if he's kicking on the fan flight, then how is this possible? Sorry, I'm so sorry, team, but uh, this is what happens. So you should always take care of uh, doing a successful playback. Uh, no, you don't take care of that. Last tutorial, I told you we should create a milestone. Anyways, we should have fixed the issue now. So I think this is the best tutorial. You generally create mistakes and you learn from them and then you understand what common mistakes can be performed by a user. So I think this is the best way to learn by conducting mistakes. But don't worry, this time I didn't create it purposely, okay? All right, so now we got all three true. If you could notice that, Let's come to the output, come to the data tab, and you would see there is three truths. That means your calculation is happening absolutely fine. So generally, when you do certain calculations and you just round it up and you put it at this, so just for your information, this is what we were talking about, and everything works fine. So this is what you call it as a custom checkpoint. This is the formula. If you want, you can take a snapshot, or maybe you can pause the execution and look at it in more detail. So like this, if you have any other calculations involved, any other custom checkpoint to be created, all we need to know is the uh, logic behind it, and you can create your own custom formulas, custom checkpoints as well, using the output values. So we'll be looking something more in details about something like this. So stay tuned for that, and we'll be coming back in another tutorial. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing team because it's a tool-based session. Without practice, it does not become proficient. Anyways, thanks for watching the video team. Till then, take care and happy learning.